what is up hunty welcome back to my channel let's get it started make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your notifications <laughs> is this thing on hi guys so it's very 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 easy to get started being a wig maker wig seller anything like that um just pretty much what you want to be able to do from the very beginning is of course get absolutely all of your business affairs in order um you want to have your ein llc different things like that that way once you start selling the hair and everything of course you know how business accounts whatever whatnot that way once you get to selling everything then you know exactly what what you're doing with the money and when you get to filing taxes then um you don't have to worry about doing that afterwards getting started is the easiest thing that you can do like i said you want to make sure that everything with your business is everything is good legit legal all that good stuff okay the materials that you need to get set up and i'm gonna put them right here yeah most definitely going to need a sewing machine ball pins canvas head wig stand just these little things right here you know what i'm saying also, but the main things are going to be sewing machine needles thread mannequin bus wig caps developer bleach uh tweezers different y'all C3 flat irons, get y'all some, okay? You know what I'm saying? I love, 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 love these. If I still have the box, I will show you guys. But you could definitely get these off of Amazon or who else sells these? I don't remember. I know it's, it's no secret that wig makers make a lot of money. Like, we make a lot, a lot, a lot of money, a ton of money. Off, you can make about three to $500. You see... You can start off selling them if you're going to just be selling an entire wig with hair, construction, everything, color included. I would definitely say start off pricing at about like $250. Found some clips, okay? I only need one because I'm not doing too much. But most definitely, like I said, it's very, very good. But do not allow that to make it your only basis for wanting to be a wig maker. It should not. It should definitely not be the money. It, it should never be about the money. Um, you being a wig maker should literally be mostly driven off of passion. If it's not driven off of passion, you're going to fall off. Like, that just is what it is. That's why we have so many wig makers now to where some people aren't able to sustain in the business because they're always looking here, there, and everywhere else trying to see what everyone else is doing. And that, in return, is yeah that in return is affecting them because they're not coming up with anything original they're looking to see what other uh other wig makers and other businesses are doing that are successful which each business is technically successful in different ways so you kind of can't take that from someone else's business and think that you're going to be able to copy what they're doing and that is you can use their business model which is basically i would say like the the basic blueprint um, but not their entire model. Like I wouldn't, I would not sit there and model my entire business behind someone else. Passion should be like, passion should definitely be your driving motive to want to, to do this. Like, or even if you feel that it's a great, uh, profession, something that you can grow passion in and grow then that'd be good like me i got started making wigs i never actually wanted to do hair like <laughs> never actually wanted to do hair but i got into wigs because i needed to at the time um i'll tell you guys that the story another day but i got into it because i needed time like i needed i needed it at that time and i was good at it so that's that's where that came from for me but I've always had a passion with hair, especially with my own hair. I'm going to use these silk drops real quick, guys, and put these in there. But I always, like, always, 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 always had a passion for hair. It was just mostly only, like, with my hair, though. Um, I didn't have a passion or anything to... I didn't have anything of that to want to do anyone else's hair. So that part i had to grow into and it took me a good while to grow into that which was not bad because it didn't take me a long time um i was able to grow into it within a year would need in order to be a successful wig maker which i recommend education for everyone um when i first started there was not much education out here so i literally had to fight tooth and nail to learn absolutely everything on my own 
um there were probably classes i could have taken that would have helped me progress faster so just like coloring classes because i was already great at color um however i was very novice when i started so being a novice color artist it like you're gonna mess up hair like that's just what it is so i recommend like when you are dealing with color if you are a novice colorist and you don't have the money to pay somebody to help you learn how to color then most definitely you what you want to be doing is is like taking um pieces of hair and i would say like cut off maybe this much off of the track and then just do a color swatch and then just try it out just practice on those small pieces and then you'll get it it's it's not hard you just need practice that's literally with anything um in any field you just need practice so you most definitely want to be finding you a mentor finding you a mentor that will help you definitely get as much education as you can afford to get for yourself um there are tons of people giving out tons of classes like i know i do classes um i used to do them heavy 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 on here um but now i do my classes behind the scenes so you can either go for virtual classes if you're more of a visual learner i um, mean you don't need hands-on but most i mean technically this is still hands-on training but some people at which hands-on will always be top tier you you will not learn um as much as you can as fast as you can unless you are in a hands-on one-on-one -on -one class so i definitely recommend that anybody get into a hands-on one-on-one -on -one class um, and make sure that you're in the class with a person who absolutely knows what they're doing and is going to teach you because at the type of money that you can make and that you are going to make if you become successful in this field is mind boggling. So it's really, really great. It's really, really dope. However, 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 once again, once again, like I said, do not leave with the money. But when you are picking an instructor, a mentor, anything like that, you most definitely want to pick a person that is knowledgeable in the field and can produce results and have taught other people and have at least, they need to have at least, at least, um, I would say anywhere between five to ten other successful people in that field that they have taught like i visibly have people that i have taught how to make wigs you can go on my facebook page and i'm posting them on a daily so and they're posting me as well flat iron flat iron flat iron definitely the education is education is dope education is great um a big 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 step let me go back so a big 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 step that you most definitely want to do is finding you a proper vendor now it's many many ways for you to get vendors but you can always go on like instagram look for vendors ask them for sample orders you can go on facebook look for vendors and contact them directly and ask for sample orders but see the thing about doing it yourself is you're going to spend more money doing it yourself versus if you go and purchase, let's say a trusted vendors list, like I have trusted vendors list of vendors that I still use and that I have used in the past. So, and you could take your pick from those. Um, and you know, vendor list that anyone else is selling. Would I ever recommend that you, that you buy just one vendor? If somebody is trying to sell you one vendor, and I mean like these people that are selling you one vendor for like five, six hundred, a thousand dollars. Now, I won't tell you that it's a bad investment because I don't know if they're selling their actual vendor. Now, if the people are selling their actual vendor for that price, then yes. Okay, cool, great, go for it. But 
if they are not selling their actual vendor to you that's kind of a it's not kind of that is a very 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 big step very so definitely find you a vendor get the money have all your LLC set up, everything and whatnot, Hunty. Okay. Period. Is it good to start off with a website from the beginning? Or should you wait? Um, I would say definitely go ahead and get the website from the very beginning. You know why? Because the webs websites are cheap. Like, y'all don't understand how cheap websites are. Like, hunty, websites are cheap. Websites are cheap. Ooh, y'all see that? That's a real cute color variation. That is really, really dope. You can find vendors literally anywhere. Um, You find vendors on Facebook, Instagram. Great vendors as well aren't hard to find. But... I will say that it is better for you and better and a lot more beneficial for you to go ahead and purchase a vendor from someone who is already uh, having experience in the field. Definitely don't purchase vendors from, from people who haven't tried out the vendor or aren't in that expertise. Now you can, you can try it and give it a go. However, it is be a lot more beneficial to you for you to do it that way versus purchasing it from someone who isn't in the business. So yeah, like purchasing vendors can be like super, super tricky uh, because technically you don't know what you're going to get until you receive it. So you don't know what type of hair you're going to get. You don't know um, even some of the ones that show you the best hair they could literally just be showing you a photo or video that they took from somewhere else. Like there are many, 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 many um, vendors out here that sell hair and they will sell you hair that looks like something that a black business owner has created and it will be nothing like um, the hair that you receive, okay? So they'll be showing you photos, videos like, oh yeah, um, this is what our client made with our hair and da da, da 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 Yes, they do do that. They do. And they definitely steal, uh, photos and videos and hair related things from black businesses because that's what's working. So they see it, they like it, they're going to take it. Okay. That's just a part of the game. Literally. So yeah, you most definitely want to make sure that you have your website, everything up to par. That way you can start making your money and everything. Um, a website will make you a more legit um, and more trustworthy person to, to purchase from versus you just now starting off and then you want all of your payments from Cash App, Zelle, and things like that. Like It's cool um, if you can just convince people that you are a trustworthy person. However, that takes time. But definitely y'all like being a wig maker is really really dope it's really really fun um i've quit about a good six times but um and that's just due to it, it was a number of different reasons of why i quit it's like i quit i would quit probably like once a year so it was just like it's a really really dope business to be a part of um, it's really, you can be very fun, creative. You can do so many different things with hair. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, the best part of, re of being a wig maker to me, for me, <laughs> is literally just the marketing. Like, I love, 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 love the marketing part. That is one of my most favorite parts of just, just being an entrepreneur in general. Like, I love the marketing um hey y'all go to sleep yeah for me one of the best parts of being a wig maker is literally just the marketing and by the way y'all this is my t3 one i did get this from amazon as well okay
let's go ahead and turn this boom 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 but yeah guys like being a windmaker is really really great um it's just like i said before you just want to make sure that you have passion patience and different things like that like if you don't have patience trying to do all these curls like this like you're gonna be like <laughs> you're gonna be upset definitely um doing all these different type of styles you have to have to have to have patience like you you cannot no mm -mm. that's it's not gonna happen mm -mm. never but definitely like I said, marketing is one of my most favorite things to do. I love taking pictures of my work. I love uh, taking videos of my work. I love posting it. I love the feedback that I get. I love the new people who want to follow me because they love my work. Like, and it's just so, 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 so great. So amazing. Like, I can't express enough, like, how much like how great that makes me feel that people love me they love my business they love my work like it's it's truly truly dope um so definitely like and even like the level that i have managed to get to right now like i could literally um like I, I haven't had a job since 2018 i haven't had to work for anyone else since 2018 but definitely getting to the level that i am on i can literally go and once this i can guarantee once i post this wig it's going to be sold in the exact same day it's very rare that i hold on to wigs especially ones that are natural looking like this these are the ones that i don't hold on to now sometimes those really cute colorful ones that i be doing you guys be seeing me do those sometimes i will hold on to those um, that's just really because I I don't I'm not a lot of time I'm I'm not willing to budge on that price of those wigs. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a give and take. You have to figure out like one thing that worked really, really well for me from the very beginning is I was able to find my target audience very, very, very early on. I did not have to go through too much to find people who wanted to purchase from me i've i've never had that problem um but i also made it my business to make sure that my wigs look top of the line so that pretty much anybody that sees them wants them okay so definitely work on your skills work on your skill set like you you have to up your skills you have to up your skill set in absolutely any setting because that is what everybody is going to be looking for your skill level when your skills are super super high up to par that is what they want oh y'all see that hairline right there oh that's some good plucking right there and y'all for the record i don't put baby hairs in my wigs anymore like you can do that if you want to but i chose to stop doing it um because i noticed it was like i would sell my wigs much much faster now unless i'm doing like a custom order then i'll put the baby hairs in there as requested but if they don't want them then i don't do it because um me taking the baby hairs off of my wigs from this stage from the selling stage literally has um it took me from selling to a certain type of of person or a certain type of woman to literally now any kind of woman can wear my hair all right so i'm gonna spray this on here real quick this sticky icky by main candy let's go ahead and put this on here okay don't need too much but i want to make sure that, that these curls hold getting your clients is a lot easier than most people think just pretty much what you want to be doing is you want to be promoting your your hair breakfast lunch and dinner so when you get up in the morning you need to be promoting your hair when you go for a lunch break whatever time of day that is for you you need to be promoting your hair dinner time before after during dinner whichever you need to be promoting your hair if you're not promoting your hair nobody's going to know what you're selling that's a lot of people's downfalls they don't promote their hair 
not promoting your hair or any product that you sell how are they supposed to know are they supposed to just go to your page and just randomly find, oh hey yeah um i just stumbled across this person like you will have those few clients that will just stumble across you but every client that you pull in needs to be very intentional what i mean by being intentional you need to intentionally um promote that business baby okay intentionally promote that business so most definitely you want to be promoting on absolutely all of your social media platforms. Um, that way you can, your range of clients will be a lot broader. Because sometimes there are only some people who only like to go on Twitter all the time. There are some people who like to be on Facebook more. There are some people who like Instagram more. Um, they are different, just different audiences. TikTok everything whatever whatnot um but all of them will give you the exact same results which is more clients more customers more money um the last thing that i'll tell you is just simply don't give up like like i said before i've given up i gave up like six times like, and it was just really to the point where I just, I did not want to do this no more. Um, it's, like I said, it's been multiple reasons why I have given up so many times. Like sometimes it's just like the customers were a lot to handle. Um, being in this business, people want to literally copy everything that you're doing and want to be you and they'll go behind your back and take your clients, different things like that. But even though I went through those things plus more, I still wouldn't trade this skill for anything. Like, y'all, like I, I would not trade the skill for anything. It just, it's not, I, like, I could literally be broke one day and make about seven to 10 wigs and re-up from there. You know what I'm saying? I can make two wigs and re-up from there. So it's it's a really, really great business to be a part of really really it's just it's it's amazing all around again i wouldn't trade it for the world i wouldn't trade it for anything i wouldn't even like even me getting to the point where i feel like quitting i think i've gotten past that point so it's like now my brain doesn't even go to oh yeah we're gonna quit this that other no my brain just automatically maneuvers to okay well what's next well what do we do next you know how do we stay on top and I had to also realize too that even when people are taking my things and trying to make them as they own, um, I used to get really, really upset with that. Like I would, I would be on social media fighting with these people. However, I just realized after a while that it just is what it is. You know, that it comes with the territory when you're great, people want to be great just like you. So. If I were you, if that ever happens to you, then, you know, just remain calm. I know it's hard to say in hindsight, but just remain calm and know that they wouldn't be in that position or they wouldn't have that skill set without you, without you being the initial person at the beginning. And, you know, at the end of the day, we all have had some type of... Uh, influence from other people and the way that they like to to make their their products okay this is what i want to do with this so yeah i'm always going back and tweaking you you, you most definitely want to make sure that styling is a1 if it ain't, they ain't gonna want it. Okay, okay, hunty. Okay, I'll take that. And of course, it's going to look even better on the mannequin head. So I'm gonna get a mannequin head, and I'll show y'all in a minute. Y'all, last but not least, display is everything. Okay. So when you are advertising your wigs, you want to make sure that that display is the ultimate display of that wig okay so you want to pull all of your hair forward 
make sure that them curls are nice and popping. The last thing that I'm going to do, I actually need to put a, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. To stop that from moving. Drizzle drops. It's going to get rid of the frizz. Lay down those flyaways. And of course, add some extra shine to the hair. As I stated before, you want to make sure that that display is A1. Okay. That display needs to be the best display of that wig. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay, super cute. And as I stated before, always make sure that your video is captured, that your products are captured in the best way possible. So you want to take different angles, move that around, and show different sides of the hair. There you go. I like to do videos in landscape. Ooh, throwing her right on the website, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah. Y'all got any questions? Make sure you put them in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I'm done with this video. I'm done with this wig. Catch you guys later. Go ahead and play in this just a little bit more. Let's bring that to the front. We're going to pull these out, pull these curls apart to show how much more fuller this hair is. And then the best way to pull apart curls is just use a fine tooth comb, hunty, okay? Fine to come. Let's do that. Okay, okay.